Salutations, my friends. Voodoo here with another mad creation straight from the lab. With the holiday season crashing down on us like an avalanche and prices constantly dropping, the debate of console versus PC is heating up once again. With the PlayStation 4 now going for around $300, the question begs to be answered. What kind of performance can you get from a PC of the same price? Well, my friends, let's find out. After doing a bit of shopping around, I was able to construct a very decent 720p gaming system for right around $300. As you may know, the Xbox One does not support 1080p 60 frames per second gaming, but this little guy will, with no refurbished or used parts, and does not include an operating system. This PC will offer comparable performance to the current generation of consoles and the versatility of a complete desktop system for around the same price. Let's start with the CPU. To keep our build competitive with the current pricing of the PS4, I've had to cut a few corners, taking a page from Sony's playbook. Instead of purchasing a CPU and separate graphics card, we will be using the AMD A10 7870K quad-core processor. This APU features a 95-watt quad-core CPU running at 3.9 GHz along with R7 integrated graphics. While being slower than a discrete GPU, it does offer a lot more bang for your buck and when paired with high-speed memory can be quite a formidable opponent for the kings of your living room. While consoles offer no upgradability, this particular APU can be cross-fired with an R7 250X or HD 7770 graphics card if you pick one up for cheap in the future. This will offer a significant performance increase over the PS4. For the low price of only $139.99, we get both a capable CPU and GPU. Perfect for this budget build. Up next for our motherboard, I've selected the MSI A68HM E33 version 2. This is an affordable FM2 motherboard with class 4 military components supporting up to 32 gigs of DDR3 2133 memory and featuring one PCI Express 3.0 slot, one PCI Express 2.0 slot, two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 ports along with four SATA 3 ports. This board may not contain a lot of high-end features, but is more than capable and has a stylish brown PCB trimmed in all black. Dirt cheap and rugged at $32.99 after mail-in rebate. RAM, as you know, is a critical factor in the speed of a system. RAM speed itself, though, is usually not too much of a concern, but this changes when you are using any sort of onboard video or integrated graphics chip. The speed of the graphics processor is directly tied to the speed of the memory. For that reason, I've chosen two 4 gig sticks of ADATA XPG memory for a total of 8 gigs of DDR3 memory that we can run in dual channel configuration and at our motherboard's maximum speed of 2133 MHz. This should keep our APU running lightning fast and won't break our budget at $39.99. For storage, we will be going with a Toshiba P300 1TB hard drive. Spinning at 7200 RPMs with a 64MB cache and 6GB per second SATA connection, this drive will be twice as large and a bit faster than the console's 500GB, 4500 RPM offering. It's both affordable and a necessity for any gaming system at $49.99. To power our console crusher, we really don't require a lot of wattage and could probably use just about any decent ATX power supply. But this is an area you never want to cheap out on. A quality power supply with a gold rating will allow both future upgradability and won't up the power bill if you want to leave your system running or use it as a media center or server. So let's go with the fractal design Tesla R2 500 watt 80 plus gold certified power supply. It's hard to find a better deal with the gold rating, so it's a steal at $39.99. Now for the piece de resistance. 
and the most reliable part of any build, the case. I've looked around at tons of micro ATX options to find this little diamond that wants to stay cold. So to match our power supply and because Scandinavian style is both beautiful and understated, I've chosen the Fractal Design Core 1100. It may come as no surprise, as I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of a cohesive build with a brand or color theme. This micro ATX mini tower computer case has three 2.5 inch dry bays and is 16 inches tall, weighing only 8.3 pounds. It's both lightweight, compact and sturdy and designed for exceptional airflow and cooling. It does only include one 120 millimeter fan, so I do advise you purchase a PWM controlled 92 millimeter exhaust fan, as well as an additional 120 millimeter intake fan if you need more cooling. Overall, it's both stylish and well built for an insanely cheap $29.99. That brings our grand total to $327 after mail-in rebates. So there we have it. The small, sleek, stylish, and surprisingly powerful Black Mamba. Now put that in your PS4 and smoke it. PC Master Race for the win. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe, like, or leave a comment and let me know what you think. Or maybe try out that fancy new donate button to help see some of these systems built, created, and tested. Anyway, I just want to thank you for joining me, and as always, I will see you next time.